To me, it doesn't necessarily mean a physical place, but it can. I think it can be anything that gives one inner peace, a sense of comfort and grounding. It can be different things to different people. I don't feel at home anywhere. Maybe it's because I left everything I knew in pursuit of something unknown. I left India when I was 20 and moved to Canada. Ever since that, I've always felt like a nomad, just moving around. I've been hungry and homeless. I've considered suicide, traveled to a remote North Canadian Arctic town, adventures through Southeast Asia, lived in a small town in Southern China, met good people all over the world, very few slightly less than good, at least at the time when I met them. Times changed, perspectives changed, life is stable now. But I still don't feel at home. My friend once told me home for some people might not always be a physical place. It could be an internal space or even a person. I do access that place once in a while when I'm completely in the moment. The film you see is also made when I was fully immersed in that moment. No thoughts, no distractions. Maybe that's why I love traveling. When you are in a routine, day in and day out, your mind goes on an autopilot mode. But when you travel, you encounter new things, new people, new challenges that forces you to be present. It becomes easier to stay in the moment. I'm not talking about a vacation where you lounge around and do absolutely nothing. They are undeniably pleasant and needed at times too. But the kind of traveling I'm talking about is where you are out in the real world. Even going to a part of your own city you haven't been to, or taking the bus route you haven't taken. Maybe moving to a new country where you don't know the language and you're forced to communicate in a sign language. Moments where everything else is stripped off in an encounter except for each other's humanity. But such moments come with certain confrontations. Maybe that's another reason why I love roaming around. Confronting yourself leads to knowing yourself. You are shown exactly who you are and what kind of biases and conditionings you have. Many a times things are casually presented to you, things that are completely opposite to what you know is true. These uncomfortable situations show you who you really are. I live in a quiet town in southern China. The experience you see are my travels from China to Vietnam and Thailand in the height of this coronavirus crisis. Actually, I didn't know about the virus until I boarded my flight. This unique situation provided confrontations and conflicts within myself that helped reveal a part of me that I didn't know exist. As human beings, I feel like we are an extremely cautious bunch. Extreme caution many times morphs into this unfounded fear. When I lived in Canada, I've encountered a lot of these cautious people. Afraid of talking to one another, afraid of a friendly hi, afraid to smile, afraid of a new person, afraid of new culture, afraid of asking can we be friends, afraid of asking someone out, afraid of the unknown and stepping out of one's own comfort zone in general. I am guilty of this myself, but I'd like to think it has changed a little bit. There is this incredible quote from Frank Herbert's 1965 science fiction epic novel, Dune. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me, and when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing, only I will remain. But to attain this state, I find it's not easy. The confrontation and conflicts provided by traveling far and wide helps out quite a bit. When walking through a market in a very small town in an unknown country, 
where you don't understand a single word spoken nor the store signs. Now that makes you act despite of the fear. That makes you alert and face enough of those situations. You realize that people are people regardless of where they are. More often than not, we all want to get through the day peacefully, bring food to the table, survive another day, and if possible, make meaningful connections along the way. I was standing in the middle of this deserted street in this small town in Vietnam. Apart from the distant singing somewhere in the night and this ominous car in front of me, there was nothing else going on. Everything in my instinct was telling me to get out of the street. But I find that instinct and conditional fear of unknown has only the slightest of difference. But when I breathed in and out and looked around, I realized that it actually is a nice residential street. People were watching TV inside their houses, children were playing inside, and I realized that it was my fear of unknown and not my instinct. But don't get me wrong, traveling and living in a foreign place is often lonely and alienating. There were countless nights when I'd wake up in the middle of the night, stand in my balcony, looking out into the night, looking at all the sleepy apartments, empty streets, and closed shops, wondering what am I doing with my life? Wondering what could have been if I had never left home. But the reward far outweighs these occasional discomforts, at least in my case. The suffering, the travels, the late nights, the heartbreaks, the missed trains, the people I met during this past decade shaped me into who I am today. And with that, I can honestly say I have no regrets. I am very aware of the fact that I haven't found my home yet. Probably I never will. But lately I've been enjoying this very search for home. This journey towards my home is proving to be much more fulfilling than the promise of being there someday. I want to shout out a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Also to every one of you for watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing. Every little bit helps. I'm hoping to consistently upload videos here. I have a lot planned for this channel in terms of this series and other films and podcasts so please stay tuned. And if you like the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.